everybody, so welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tor and this is Anthropology. So in today's episode, we are getting our new kitten. I am so, so, so excited. This has been a few months in the making since we decided to get a second kitten to get a second ragdoll. Today is finally the day. We were originally supposed to get him a week from now, but we figured why not get him a week early if we can? So that's what we're doing today. I'm bringing you along with me. I'll be showing a little bit of us picking him up, a little bit of us introducing our two cats together. For reference right now, for those that are unfamiliar, we have a two-year-old rag doll named Lynx from the same breeder. Um, they are actually related. Our new kitten is technically our current cat's nephew. So we will be introducing them. Oh, Lynx has decided to make an appearance. This is Lynx, everybody. She is a two-year-old blue Lynx Point uh, ragdoll. So we are going to pick up her nephew today. So uh, yeah, I'll be bringing you along, showing you a little bit of everything, showing you a little bit of our setup. And without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so we got everything today. This is his carrier that we got him, or that we're getting him in. It's a really good one. We have the same one for Lynx, just in a different color have his little food and water bowls. We have everything separate, just obviously because we don't want any fighting. We have two extra litter boxes that we are going to be placing around the house and then, excuse all the mess everybody, but he will be living in our ensuite for now. So this will be his bedroom, which he will be living in uh, at night when we go to bed. Okay, so we have to leave here in like an hour to go pick him up a little bit less actually, but I still need to get his litter prepared. I need to fill up his food and water. We need to set up the room. Oh my God, you guys, we're getting another kid. We use pretty litter. Let's see how much we can fit in this one. That's enough for one. And the second one. So the reason why we have two extra litter boxes is basically they say when you have two cats, you should have two litter boxes plus one, so three in total. So we have three now, just so there can be multiple around the house so there is no fighting. All right, food and water bowls. This box actually. Like a little hideout area. So we basically let him have free range of the living room when we first got him. Here is Lynx doing a little bit of sniffing. She definitely can sense that something else is in the house. He was meowing quite a bit so she can hear those. And when we got him, he wasn't washed from the breeder. So he did smell a little bit like, like a litter box, like all of the other cats. And we did end up washing him later that night so he could have like a completely fresh scent. But as of right now, he's still smelling like the other cats. And this is the very first meeting Hi, between Lynx and Polar Bear, little Pee Pee. Lynx was acting very cautious around him. Um, and she acted like this basically for the full first day, very unsure, didn't really know to approach him, to run away. He also didn't really want to come out of his carrier. Looking at all the blogs, we should not have done this in retrospect. We should have fully separated them and not let him into the living room. But on the information given to us from the breeder, this was how she suggested to do it. He's just lounging in his carrier being a little baby. He was in his carrier probably for an hour before he came out and started to explore his surroundings. Lynx ended up returning to our guest bedroom, which is on the opposite side of Literally the house. And she sort no of just did her own her. thing. It's sort of like she didn't even care that he was here. Maybe that was just our perception of it. But here he is starting to come out of his carrier, exploring his surroundings. Oh, 
Wait, maybe now we'll put it in the litter box. Hi, baby. No, come here. Come here. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Oh, would you? No. So I'll also touch a little bit on why we ended up getting a second rag doll or a second kitten almost two years after getting our first one. So basically when we first got Lynx, she was very playful. She had grown up with one other sibling. And when we got her, we just decided to get the one just because we weren't sure if we obviously wanted to raise two. And if anyone knows ragdolls, they're a pretty hefty investment from the get go. So we could only afford one at the time. And then after we got her, we, we had decided eventually to get another one and then we saw the breeder had a new litter end of August, early September. That was the same time that Lynx was born, so they're actually both Virgos, and we decided to reach out, inquire, see if any of them were available. She said yes, they were all available and that they were in fact related to Lynx. Um, so basically the, the children of her sister from um, an older litter of her parents, I guess, I don't know. Basically, he's her nephew. And we just reached out, wanted to inquire. We asked what the genders or the sexes of the kittens were. There were four girls and one boy. Looking online, it basically said that getting a boy would be good for an existing female cat as opposed to getting another girl because two girls would fight. So we ended up getting the one boy that they had. We got him because we wanted Lynx to have another cat to play with someone to just always be at the house. Lynx was obviously a pandemic cat, so we got her, mm -hmm. and then she didn't really see anybody or anything for six months besides us because of the lockdowns in late 2020, early 2021 in Vancouver. So we wanted something to join, like a companion, a companion for Lynx, and basically someone to play with, someone to cuddle with, someone to always be there. So basically the first night, didn't really go as we expected. We tried to put him in the, the bathroom en suite to sleep, but he kept crying, kept meowing. Basically, the only thing that would console him is if he slept in between us in our bed. So he basically slept with us the whole night. Lynx, however, over there now. She, however, did not make any appearances. She's been very quiet and like kept to herself basically this whole day, making a lot, a lot of low of growls vocalizations they seem very sad or we're just not sure what to do basically so we're just going to keep them separated we went and got some starbucks and then during that time we locked little pp away in the bathroom and then Lynx had free range of the house seems to be a little bit better now she's making her way slowly out of the guest bedroom but yeah i guess it'll take some time but this is just our day two update so far in the morning So this is Lynx day two. You can see that she's, I would say, uncomfortable. She's really confined herself to this area. She wasn't that interested in being touched by us. I wonder if it's because we had his scent everywhere, sort of all over us, but this is her. And then obviously this is the little baby exploring the kitchen for the first time. There's Lynx, there's PB, oh my gosh. It's okay, baby, it's okay. So online it basically said that try to bring them together with play, which is what I'm trying to do with this, this thing here. I also just want to say that, unfortunately, Lynx hasn't really eaten. It doesn't seem like she's used her litter box, and I don't think she's really drunk any water either. She's just sort of stayed in this bedroom. So 
So we have little PB in our bedroom, and this is Lynx's time now to explore. Yeah, baby, it's okay, don't worry, it's all right. She can hear his meows coming from the other room. So we tried feeding them on opposite sides of the door. PB took to it pretty much immediately. Lynx unfortunately backed away. But then after we did a little switch and she started to explore our room while he was outside. All right, so day three, I guess, morning three. It's going, it's happening. He seems to be settled in. Lynx is still not taking it that great. They are getting closer together, but there is still some hissing. She really has confined herself to this room and to the front of the apartment, and he has sort of taken the um, the living room and then our bedroom. They're eating out of the same food bowl, which is interesting, but yeah, he also had a little accident. He peed on the couch this morning. Honestly, nobody tells you the emotional toll this takes on like you, on the cats, on like literally everybody. It's much harder introducing another cat than it is to get to at the same time. Obviously hindsight is twenty twenty, but this is where we're at for day three. It's not so bad, right, baby? Day three update. He is crazier than ever. <laughs> so cute, though. So we've decided to take a new approach to him and Lynx as they are not... There's still like a lot of hissing, so we're doing a separate way where he's going to be confined here. No more exploring around the house. That was our first, I guess, mistake that we shouldn't have done. So he's gonna be confined here. Lynx will continue to explore the house and have main cat privileges right now until he is, I guess, or until she can more accept him. So that's where we're at now, and this is Little PB's update. So this is where we're at Tuesday morning. Oh, they can now be in the same room together. They still haven't met physically, whether that be to come to blows or to come to kisses, but we seem to be working on it because she is very interested in he is and he just wants to like play with her. Okay, this is our day five. They are tolerating being in the same area. We've had a few pets, so they have contacted, I guess. Oh, we're about to see another one maybe. And they have done one chase session so far, so they are getting to know each other. Less hissing, more unsure, I guess, uncertainty, but they're doing so much better. Update you all on what happened last night. So basically at 11 o'clock, Lynx decided to come into our bedroom where little PB is staying. We had previously separated them, but she decided to come in and basically we let her do all of the sniffing. We let her lead everything, do what she wanted. And then this morning, they've since been tolerating each other. And I think we've seen some light play. I don't know. Definitely it's not fighting, but they're kind of, they're very curious about each other still. Kind of obsessed. So this is day five. This is where we're at now. <laughs> 
So starting day five in the afternoon, I would say we saw quite a bit more play. They were able to be very close to each other. They were able to be in our bedroom together, which was pretty big for us. All of this was more or less led by Lynx. They also were on the same cat tree together, which was huge. And then obviously PB is quite obsessed with the fish tank. So this is him watching all the guppies. So we have one baby here, and the other baby there. So day six is where I think we saw most of the play. Like they were really playing, they were really wrestling, testing their boundaries, whatever they're both comfortable with. From day six, we've seen substantially more playing, substantially more wrestling, chasing, no cuddling yet, but still they're getting much closer and it's not aggressive and Lynx is finding more comfort in being in places that I guess he was before, like in the living room. I guess this is day seven. Things are going well. He's getting to know where all the litter boxes are. He's had two little accidents, but I believe they were yesterday. He's been using the litter box perfectly today. Him and Lynx are getting substantially closer now. Lots of sniffing, lots of playtime. No cuddle sleeping yet, but I feel like they're definitely well on their way. An update for Lynx as well. She is also sleeping in her, you know, areas that she used to sleep in before we got him. She did vacate those areas while he was playing around there, but now she's much more comfortable to sleep with him nearby. So yeah, we're definitely well on our way. So this was huge for us seeing them sleep on one pedestal each on the large cat tree. Being comfortable enough to sleep so close to each other was really big. I also just want to say that Lynx did change quite a bit of her behavior towards us. She used to need twice a day. Now she does maybe once every few days. So keep in mind your resident cat may change their behavior quite a bit um, in the beginning. If you were to ask me if I expected them to have the relationship that they currently have now, if... I was going off of how they were on Monday, I would say no, because I was honestly shocked. But now honestly, they're basically exactly where I was hoping them to be. They were sleeping on the same cat tree today. They were playing, they were having like physical contact with one another in a positive way. So yeah, it's exactly what we had hoped for. Um, obviously it's been a roller coaster. These things are never easy and they're always unpredictable because you never know how your cat's going to react and how the new cat is going to react and how basically everyone's going to react to everybody. But honestly, I'm so glad that we made it here and that we, yeah, we have the result that we have and I'm so excited to see their relationship grow and evolve. I'll do one final update tomorrow. But yeah, I'm glad this is more or less ending positively. Another thing that I found interesting was that this used to be Lynx's favorite sleeping spot, but what I noticed is that anytime they're together, she's not possessive over the spots that she used to sleep in. She sort of will let him sleep there. I don't know if that's like a dominance thing, like whether or not she is afraid to kick him out, or if he's too erratic to be kicked out, or if she just doesn't want to kick him out. Like, I really don't know, but I just find it interesting that he's sort of taken over her old sleeping spots and she seems to be more or less okay with it. What's gonna happen? Also, sorry that it's so dark. I like, don't know how to fix that. Oh, no. I mean, it's a rainy day in Vancouver, so this is basically the best we got. Oh, the quality is so bad. No, no, Cole, he'll stop at nothing to get what he wants. So strange as it may seem, I'm your best bet. Sorry, but... All right, and here we are, Sunday morning. He's gotten way bigger. I don't know if you can see, but he's been eating her food a lot. So, wet food wasn't something that we normally gave Lynx. <clears throat> Excuse me, but um, he's really taken to it. She's also really taken to it again. I think it's like, maybe it's tastier than their dry food, but yeah, he also touched her face today and she didn't even react. So, honestly, y'all, we're on the up and up, so. That's been my week of introductions between a new kitten and a two-year-old ragdoll female. So a nine-week-old male kitten, two-year-old female. 
basically it seems to be going well they're becoming besties i'll leave the breeders information down below for anyone who's interested but yeah thank you all for watching and i hope to see you all next time bye guys mm -hmm.